Hey, it's me. New lyrical lemonade video, new tutorial. If you guys don't know already, I make music videos, follow my Instagram for my work, and let's get to the tutorial. So I'm gonna start doing this new thing where I'm gonna explain how the effect works in the beginning, and then I'm gonna show how to do it technically in Premiere Pro or Vegas or whatever program I'm gonna be doing that day. Just so you guys know, and the timestamps should be on the screen. I chose to do the grass effect in this music video because I felt it was going to be the hardest to replicate, but if you want me to do a different effect or a different scene, break it down, just let me know and I'll get to it. Doesn't matter if it's the same video or not, doesn't matter if it's lyrical laminate or not. So here's how he did it, he shot both of the artists on a green screen. Uh, you can tell by this in the beginning, he has this little intro where he does on just a blank screen, that was shot on a green screen too. He also did the same effects in the new Shoreline Mafia video, which I can show you how to do if you guys really want to. But anyways, let's get back to it. So you're going to need a green screen video of your artist. And then you're going to need these grass assets. Uh, it, I wouldn't be surprised if he filmed the grass on a green screen, like he put some turf and filmed it. But we're not trying to do all that, so I found a green screen online of this guy dancing. And I just found these pictures of these grass PNG high resolution. Now for the actual effect, he put them into After Effects, made all the layers a 3D composite layer, made a 3D scene, and then he can individually move the camera virtually through the grass and into the artist's face, right? But let's say we're not trying to do all that, we're just trying to stick into Premiere, and we're going to have something close like this, because I know a lot of you don't even have After Effects for some reason, and yeah, we'll just once you create a new project in Premiere, you're going to want to drag on your green screen clip. If you're making a music video, you should have this inside already and cut to wherever you want it. So like I said before, dancing guy, this is my green screen clip. So I have these three grasses and probably looking at it, I want this to be my back scene behind him. I want this to be in front of him and then this we can just use it for extra texture, maybe behind him as well. So first we need to key him out. The best key in Premiere Pro is key light, unless that's After Effects. All right, yeah, it's ultra key in Premiere Pro. So drag that on onto your clip. Go to effect controls where it says right here, key color. Just green screen him out. Um, he looks really bad. So you can go to matte generation and then just change the shadow. That's usually the problem because usually you will have bra uh, black in your green screen and play with these settings to get your green screen to be right. So in the video, he had a gray background. We can uh, use a gray background as well, but I'm going to choose a different color. Let's say, I don't know, blue. So go to your bin, your project window. I just made a new folder in it. Go to your bin right here. Where it says new item click that click color matte click ok that's the size of our project settings and then i'm gonna click blue but i really don't like any of these blues i usually click like g and then it gives it like a different hue a different color space and then i kind of like this navy blue so i'm gonna click ok i'm gonna just title that blue okay and now i'm gonna move our guy dancing's green screen up and I'm gonna just drag the blue underneath him. Now he has a blue background with him dancing in it. And he could be a little bit green screen better, but we could fix that with a little bit of curves. So now we need the grass. So the grass, uh, the front, like I said before, I want this to be in front of him. So I'm just gonna drag this over him. And we need to obviously size this up differently. So I'm gonna go to the effect controls while having this selected the grass layer selected and I'm going to scale this up properly and I'm going to move this about right here now we don't want the which I'll explain later here let's put our grass first and then I'll explain what we don't want later so I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna grab the second grass I wanted which is this one and I'll put it underneath him so now we have this, I'm going to select the second grass, effect controls, scale it up, that looks really bad, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to uh, pick this other grass, put it behind him, scale it up, make sure it's selected, scale it up, 
there we go and now we have guy dancing in the grass now here's the comes with here we are now here's the problem we have a blue screen we have this deep green screen grass like deep grass deep green grass we have this light green grass and we have him they're all different colors and on top of that all of this is in focus it doesn't look realistic now we have just from this asset of grass this is kind of blurred out which is what we kind of want but i'll show you how to fix it so we want him in focus and we want him to look uh behind as we want him to look like he's behind these like this grass so we need to select our top grass layer which is this one right and we need to blur it out. So go to effects and look up camera blur. Camera blur. That's the best blur IMO. And then we put that on and then it'll look like that. Now we can just make that percentage blur maybe two. So it looks out of focus. Now uh, I want the grass to cover his feet. So I'm just going to right click on over here on the timeline. Kind of on the layer timeline. Add track. And then I'm going to hold Alt and then drag the grass clip up. Now we don't want it to look the same, just moved over. So we're going to go back to effects. And then we're going to look up flip. If we spell it right. And then horizontal flip, just drag that over onto the top one. Now we have that. Now we can drag the bottom one to the left a little bit so it looks different. So now we have grass and we have him that's blurred out. And we have him. Now we can move him to the right right here, move it down, and there you go. Now on top of that, to give it, uh, I can, I'm going to leave the second grass. Okay, sorry, it's all over the place. I'm going to leave the second grass how it is. I might actually bring it down because of this little blur right here, just from the asset itself. But if you wanted, you can also add camera blur again to that. camera blur add it to that but instead of having it two this time or maybe have it one maybe in a 0.5 because he's supposed to be around this right so we're gonna have it one definitely and then uncheck that and then now he's in the grass now we have the problem of him I'm gonna move the grass up again now we have the problem of him being a different color than these two types of grass and the blue not matching so I'm not really going to get into compositing this whole tutorial, but just a quick, easy way to do it is if you look up color matcher, right? Oh, sorry, color matcher, and then drag it onto the grass clip. Now we're going to have to match it to the background of the blue, right? So go back to effect controls. I'm going to move all of this down. Color matcher, target layer, and then the video. Oh, let me go back, sorry. The video, we're going to want it to, to be the blue, which would be video 1, right? Where it says V1. Video 1, and then it'll turn blue. And then look at that. You'll have crazy. And then you can mess with the percentage. And then now you just copy that and copy that to the second one. Maybe even copy it to the, the guy dancing, which is a little bit too much. So I'm going to change that to about 10%. And then we can actually do something different with him. And then change it back to the back grass. And then now we have, now it's coming along a lot together. We still need these zooms and stuff, but we can do that later. So he's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to look up curves. I'm going to drag that on to him. And I'm going to make a real quick s curve but i don't want the highlights so i'm gonna bring down the highlights like that and then we'll have this guy dancing in the grass but now there was a couple of zooming so an easy way to zoom it i just like to highlight everything right click nest click ok my bad my nesting wasn't working so let's say you want to have some zooms in your clip which i like to do a lot and he likes to do a lot just because it's kind of distraction and makes it look more realistic so after we do that i'm gonna have my nested clip selected uh keyframe position and scale and i'm gonna go about you know one second in which we can see right here i'm gonna zoom in onto him and then move the camera position around 
and then let's say at two seconds I want it to revert back to normal so I don't like to, I just like to click this reset parameter and then we should have a zoom if we I like this and select render into out now this might take a minute but we're just gonna wait for it now it should zoom into out like this and all of that now we can make the zoom in a little bit more by going to our middle keyframes right here right click and click auto bezier now I'm just gonna render effects into out so it's a little bit faster and then now we have this to that with a little bit of shaking but we can use a little bit more okay so now we're getting close to it uh, a few things I don't like is or a few things he did is he had this kind of edge blur type deal like a vignette I don't know so yeah we can ha look at this edge blur and just drag that onto the clip render effects into out and so we have a little bit of this right which we're getting closer to but still kind of looks weird so I like to add a you might not have this but a chromatic aberration from red giant universe distort I just drag that on and it makes this little bouquet type thing I don't know it's not bouquet but you know what I'm talking about um, this edge type thing I just like to get this go to lens texture and then just turn that to none so we don't have all that so now we have this as our effect he's in the grass and he's looking more in the grass okay and so the final thing he did was he had 3d layers of each grass so we can zoom past the front grass but since we're in premiere we can't really do 3d layers but we can sure fake it so if you want to zoom past the grass and make the grass move itself we can just open up our nested sequence and then right here where it says the, like our top frontal grass we can just scale the position up so right in the beginning we want to keyframe the scale and then go I think one second in right because that's when our zoom comes in and then we can just scale it up like that and then I'll have now this grass has layers now the second grass we can go to the beginning keyframe the scale go about one second in again and scale this one up so if you look back at the nested sequence render effects into out so my computer doesn't die a little bit so now it looks more 3d I know that was kind of fast so let's watch it again all right all right yeah and that's basically it for this premiere tutorial sorry it's all over the place I had a redo a lot of things but yeah thanks for watching and let me know if you need help in the comments and yeah